number one lesson I could offer you where your work is concerned is this. Become so skilled, so vigilant, so flat out fantastic at what you do that your talent cannot be dismissed. Stop comparing yourself to other people. You're only on this planet to be you, not someone else's imitation of you. I had to learn that the hard way on the- The female millennial, a new era of talent from female achievers who are on the forefront of the global talent pool. What would you say if asked about your side hustle story? Some of you might respond with something like this. My nine to five is what earns me a living and my five to nine is what makes me really feel alive. This tells us that side hustles are trending and for some reason, the money isn't just a motivator. More women are seeking for opportunities for different reasons, whether it's the need to feel inclusive or to join a society of socials, or maybe just the feeling one gets from making another person smile. This unique generation has changed how and what we expect our voices to influence, how we interact with consumer brands, and most importantly, how we view the workforce. They have unique behaviors that positively challenge social norms that align our open and global perspective. From beauty tutorials and styling tips to shopping hauls, product review and travel inspiration, these are the rising women millennial from Namibia that are amongst the many more you'd want to look for in 2021. So in no particular order and coming in at number 16 is Sally Boss Madame. She is an Afrofusion singer, songwriter, and performer from Vantuk, Namibia. She rose to fame after her single Boss Madame earned her an award at the Namibian Annual Music Awards. Nancy Shafa is a YouTuber, owner and operator of Prestige Beauty and Photography, a makeup and photography business based in Vantuk, Namibia. Her business specializes in makeup application and photo shoot for all kinds of events. Woven is a Namibian content creator that covers a wide array of topics. She is mostly known for her travel vlogs that showcase the unseen and travel hotspots of the motherland. She has recently partnered with Godwana Collections Namibia, a company that promotes travel and tourism in the country. Nelao Nengola is a Namibian influencer, lifestyle coach, and owns a fitness studio based in Vantuk, Namibia. Her business offers online transformation program as well as group fitness training and coaching. She holds numerous certification as a personal trainer, classical Pilates instructor, and health coach, and as a Bachelor's of Arts in Health Management. Delish Matthews is an entrepreneur, actress, reality star, and the winner of Big Brother Africa The Chase 2013. Currently, she's the brand ambassador of the NBC Namibia mobile app and shares snippets of her life across her social media accounts. Betty Davids is a popular Namibia influencer blessed with both beauty and a sharp mind. Betty Davids holds a Master of Law from the University of Namibia, Master of Law in Commercial Law from the University of Cape Town, amongst other qualifications. She rose to fame after her social media posts went viral on Instagram. Leah Mishika is a Namibian fashion designer based in Vantuk. She is also a writer, founder and managing director of Lamout Fashion, an online destination for women's fashion. She won the title African Female Designer of the Year in Ghana, West Africa in 2014. Her blogs and Instagram accounts are widely popular amongst fashionistas in Namibia and the world is taking notice of that. Born in northern Namibia, Maria Nepembe is a model, actress, TV host, 
film director, reality star, and fashion designer that rose to fame across Africa in 2013 after she was chosen as one of the housemates to represent Namibia in the Africa's biggest reality TV game show, Big Brother Africa The Chase. The rise and use of mobile phones in Africa is met with an increased use of online services amongst consumers. Rwanda Porsche is a Namibian online store that stocks women clothing and accessories. It is owned by fashion model Rahab Ingarwa, whose grace catwalks both inside Namibia and further afield. Coming in at number 7 is Lloyda Naninda. She is a lady who is open to working with everyone. She is a Namibian actress, model, producer and filmmaker who managed to make a mark on both regional and international level. Having worked as a model for international companies such as Levi Strauss, Royal Dutch Shell and featured in films such as popular South African soap opera Generation, she recently produced a new crowdfunded documentary, Our Likeness, for which she traveled to 15 countries to immerse herself in the cultures around the world. Marianne Aquenia is a serial entrepreneur and founder of Nomad Spa. She is an advocate and pioneer for African wellness industry. She is also Namibia's first female commercial pilot turned wellness entrepreneur and is at the forefront of Destination Namibia to highlight wellness tourism in the country. She has been elected as ambassador of the Spa and Wellness Association of Africa. This is Tammy Knott, a vibrant young Namibian entrepreneur who dedicated to celebrating the indigenous plants of her country by using them to create 100% skin care products. As a young child, she spent most of her time in the Namib desert where she and her mother researched traditional uses of indigenous plants, including the Namibian myrrh, marula oil, and the Kalahari melon seed oil. It inspired her to start up Mbiri Natural, a vegan skincare brand. Right at number four, we have Honorable Emma Teofelus, who was appointed as Namibia's Information, Communication and Technology Deputy Minister. The former youth activist, Justice Ministry Legal Officer, is the youngest person to join Parliament in her capacity at the age of 23. Zodidi Gasep is a founder of African Natural, a Namibian-based natural hair and skin care line, an initiative dedicated to cultural preservation of the African aesthetics. She is very passionate about healing and the restorative power of natural products and essential oils. And her company prides itself in combining the best ingredients that nature has to offer in order to achieve her health whilst celebrating Africa's rich heritage. Coming in at number two is Loide Ushona. She's the co-founder of ProQuest and is the youngest owner of a holy Namibian medical laboratory. ProQuest is a facility in Ventuk offering Namibian services such as laboratory tests, commissioned research and training. So what started off as a three bedroom house grew to be known as one of the emerging medical laboratory centers in the country. In 2017, Sandra Mwihangele made history by becoming the first Namibian to be listed on the Forbes 30 under 30 list. Her career in cosmetics could have probably been foreseen by the time when she was 12 when she developed a lipstick made from natural resources and won a gold medal at the science competition. While studying analytic chemistry in 2012, Sandra started working at a cosmetic manufacturing laboratory in Cape Town, South Africa, where the foundations of her career in cosmetics were laid. In 2014, she returned to Namibia as a qualified cosmetic chemist. The range of cosmetic products under her company brand include body butters, lotions, and shower gels. 
Your life journey is about learning to become more of who you are and fulfilling the highest, truest expression of yourself as a human being. That's so let us know if there are other female millennials we've missed out on this list and we'll surely check them out. If you like informative and educational videos on Namibia and Africa in general, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. See you in another one and bye besties.